Hello, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going through uh, some new features of SimView uh, that have been added with version 12. Uh, to look at those, we're going to look at this uh, phase-shifted phase full bridge converter with an active secondary. Uh, it's got peak kernel control, but importantly, we're going to look at uh, the currents and voltages across the uh, Top side devices here, look to see if we have some resonant switching occurring. So is your voltage switching? Let's have a look at the simulation results. Okay, so we'll pull up uh, the current through that top side device and we can see that it's got um, a range here of about 10 amps, so minus four and six amps there. Um, we'll overlay onto this the voltage uh, across that top device, so that's VQA. And we can see right away there's a scaling problem because v, the voltage on the, across the fit is 400 volts. So what we can do is we can right click over on the Y axis here, click edit Y1, and we can go to uh, add a new, sorry, down here, new Y axis. And that's gonna add on uh, the other side there. And then we can rescale this. So now we can see the current and the voltage. Uh, and we can go ahead and just zoom in here onto a little portion and we can see quite clearly uh, the, let's just zoom in even further, just on a couple cycles there, rescale. And when we rescale, it scales both axes properly. So we can see quite clearly that when we switch the device on over here, we are switching it on when there's uh, when the voltage is zero. So we're, we are achieving that, uh, that zero voltage switching. And that's easy to look at. Uh, so that was adding in this, uh, an, an additional uh, Y axis. Um, and we can add uh, a third one if we really wanted to. Or you can keep adding them on if you have other signals that you need to scale uh, properly. Okay, so that was uh, adding in a new y-axis to uh, a secondary y-axis to the to your waveform plots. Okay, so that uh, uh, is it for this tutorial video. Uh, look out for more videos on new changes to SimView uh, with version 12. There's quite a few of them. Uh, that we'll be getting through. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Look back again for more videos.